just got on the Royal Caribbean Adventures of the Sea. Ship. Came in right there, looked around, and this is the Royal Promenade. Promenade, I don't know how you say that, but it's, uh, it's pretty darn sweet. It looks nice. Alright, just walking down the Royal Promenade. This place is big. It's hard to imagine this is all on the cruise ship. A couple little cafes on the side, cafe promenade. Got some music playing. Little restaurant. All right, we made it through the Royal Promenade. This is the other side looking in. We actually came in over there where I started the video. Basically, this, on this world promenade, you got a general store at the end, a little logo shop for uh, just some gear, oil Caribbean gear, and then you also have some rooms up there that overlook the promenade, so something to keep in mind. Alright, we are on the other side of the, the promenade still, and this is actually the dining room we're in. Okay, we're inside the Sapphire dining room, this is where we'll be eating our dinner. Really cool looking dining room. It's got windows around it. It's got a sweet chandelier in the middle. Elijah's getting his picture taken. What do we think, Mom? Oh, I love it. Yeah? Beautiful. Pretty awesome. Elijah, what do you think, bud? Pretty sweet? Yeah. Heck yeah, it's gonna be nice. They serve great food in here. You're gonna love it, buddy. Cool, cool. Glass elevator is pretty cool. Over there is the lobby. Really nice people. You can also get room, which is uh, a big deal if you want to stream. Really cool feature. So we actually got room with the streaming feature, kind of that second package for so that way we could watch movies or something. Like that as well. Okay, on the ship they have this place called Adventure Ocean. The arcade is open! Which it's a pretty sweet arcade. You do have to pay for that, but towards the back you can actually sign your kid up for a program for different age kids. Okay, we're on the back of the ship. Sweet swimming pools. You got some little slides over there for the kids. That's really kind of cool. It's a pretty good one for them. And then you got Elijah here looking. What do you think, Elijah? This is pretty cool. Man. Yeah, it look cool? Yeah. Sweet. Way cool. Look at that baby. He's being a skatist. Oh my gosh, that was pretty cool. That looks like something that people would do. Yeah. Okay, we're heading the other way on the ship. And actually have a Johnny Rockets on this ship. Great food, but it is an extra charge. And we're heading up to the sports deck here. Right off deck 13 here. If you want to go to the uh, perfect storm, that's where you find the pool and big slides. Elijah's first time playing ping pong. Ooh, you do pretty good. Let's play ping pong. Good job, buddy. We the basketball court. We got the rock climbing wall right there.
boys are off swimming, so I'm having ice cream. Sweet as this. Big water slides. Awesome. Basically, the place you go if you're outside of the normal dinner times of main dining. But what's also nice about this is no dress clothes, none of that kind of stuff. You can see the hours of operation. And they do not allow wet clothing. <laughs> so, uh, what's really cool is these awesome sinks when you come in. It's actually a hand dryer and a seat in one. So you have that just keep everything clean. Every day they got a feed. They're training in today. Then they try to keep it clean with hand sanitizer and spray it on here. Alright, so when you walk into the wind jam and they got fresh baked goods in the front, try the international flavors and sometimes that's kind of their fancy food for you to try out. Then it kind of switches up, Mexican, just kind of different things. Other people want to eat, but really big. Lots of places to sit. You got that awesome view of the ocean behind. You got some more buffet lines, which almost kind of duplicates itself from the front and side. And honestly, one of the coolest things is all these amazing desserts that they switch out every day. I love this place. So, if you miss the dinner time, get back late, want a quick bite, winter has got pretty good food. Alright, tonight is the ice, I call it the ice capades, but I really know what it's called. But uh, they're gonna have an ice skating show. How cool is that? Ice skating on a cruise ship. Kind of amazing. You can actually do this as like a family. You know, they have like a free skate time where you can come down and skate. And then they put on shows, which that's what we're gonna be watching tonight. There's not gonna be any cell phone service during the show. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to show that. But really kind of a cool setup. Not really super cold in here either, which is nice. Pretty big venue for this inside of the cruise ship. Pretty excited. Okay, so on this Royal Caribbean ship, there's a theater called the Lyric Theater where they show random productions. One night was a Celine Dion impersonator, one night was a magician. So they kind of have cool stuff going on in here. Tonight is Can't Stop the Rock which is going to be like movie music so I'm pretty excited about that I think that'll be cool it's a really nice theater really big lots of seating so uh, should be a lot of fun riding the open elevator to our room I know you see the other people in there the royal promenade check that out 
so we're in 73.52, which is on deck seven. I broke came up with a cool idea that I wanted to show you guys. Basically on cruise ships, you got all, I mean, the hallway of doors with all the state rooms. There's tons. When you're walking down there, you're like, oh, what's our door? So just a quick visual cue of our room door. Um, she came up with this idea to put something on it, and then we picked a golden snitch team playing card uh, from Harry Potter. The golden snitch. And some people actually put the dry erase board on their stateroom door. That way, in case they got kids and the kids are like, where's mom and dad? They can actually go back to the door and they'll put a little note on there like we're eating at the wind jammer or something like that. So, really pretty cool. All right, we are on Royal Caribbean's Adventure of the Sea. We have a veranda suite and we'd like to show you around. So first things first when you come in, it kind of opens up to the living room area. So they have a nice couch over here. It's actually pretty inside actually. Yeah. And that can fold out to a bed. So that's actually where we're gonna have Elijah's bed be. And then they have a nice sitting area where you can sit down and get ready, put on your makeup, fix your hair, it has the nice vanity lights on the side. Quite a few drawers. But they're actually pretty good size. They do have a hair dryer. Some real fly personal hygiene equipment I got here, man. And I got a hell of a hair dryer over here, too. Check it out. So that's always a good thing. So you don't have to pack it. You have a safe. So that's really nice. That's a pretty decent sized little TV. We always check our room for a TV. This, they even have a little fridge. I was kind of happy about that. More storage on this side. Decent sized bed. And then like I said, ours actually has the veranda off of it. And this door, let me tell you, this door seals up and locks all the sound outside. I was really amazed. Elijah's sitting outside and it was actually kind of noisy. Just unlocking the door, you can already start to hear the noise. And this is how loud it is out there. So you can tell when we lock the door that it locks out all the sound. It's got a couple chairs, little tables, so you can sit outside. Once we leave, we're still in port. But once we leave, then we'll be able to sit outside and enjoy the Caribbean air. I thought I could go to sleep on this. Uh, it's, it's, it's like a veranda. Yeah, I'll come show you the bathroom and the closet. They do have a full length mirror here too, so you can check to see if you're ready for dinner or whatnot. Here's the bathroom. Cruise ships are not known for their bathrooms, but pretty decent actually. And countertop to get ready, lots of mirrors. And then it's got a little shower. Right across the way is the closet. And honestly, this is a really good size closet. I was pretty impressed actually with how much storage that they have in this closet. Lots of hanging room. They already have hanging room in here actually. Mm -hmm. Several like shelves, a couple of little, like a, like, I don't know, little hanging thing down here, but also hold your life jackets down there. So we're really happy about this. There's even a little spot up above the closet where you could, I don't know, put extra stuff up there too. So we were actually pretty impressed. We've been in other cruise ships where there wasn't nearly this much storage. So first impressions, we're pretty happy with our with our room. We think it's gonna have like good size for the three of us. So yeah, we're pretty happy about it. How, how you happy? Are you happy about it, buddy? Mom tell you about these cups? Well, we, yeah, we got cups, cups, huh? Yeah. You happy about the room? Yeah. Yeah. So we've been on the cruise ship Royal Caribbean Adventure of the Seas. We just want to give you a review of that and kind of explain, you know, some of the stuff we liked. 
But uh, I, I really liked it. I think it's been a good ship. You know, Brooke and I have cruised quite a bit. This was Elijah's first cruise, mm -hmm. so it was brand new to him. But uh, you know, he's liked it. He's a fan. I, you know, I liked the ship. It wasn't too small. It wasn't huge. I mean, I don't mind if ships are huge either. Yeah, but I wouldn't it was, mind going bigger because it's definitely yeah. more of a medium range size. I definitely think one of the new mega ships would be cool, but I definitely yeah. wouldn't want to go smaller because you can feel it move a little bit. Not horrible, but you can feel it move. Right. Yeah. So I mean, if you if you have motion sickness and stuff like that, you're gonna want to go you know at least his size or bigger yeah. um, you're not going to want to go smaller so definitely do your research on that but it's been you know the food's been great the service has been awesome mm -hmm. they really try to remember your name so like in the main dining room and stuff yes. we go in there they remember everyone's names and, and what we're drinking what we're drinking and then elijah likes grapes so every single time we come in they bring them a plate of grapes which yeah. is really cool so i mean that that level of service is awesome and our see. room sturdy steward he's very attentive mm -hmm. to when we're leaving when we'll be back in the room having everything ready for us so service has been really good yeah service has been awesome so i have no no complaints there, but uh, I like the fact that it's got an ice skating rink on here. It's got a nice lyric theater. There. Every night they have a different show, um, usually in the lyric theater, but then they also have a show in the ice skating rink. So not only can you ice skate yourself, but then they'll also have the show. So that's pretty unique. So yeah. and we like the shows. Appreciate Elijah it. really liked the like comedians. He liked mm -hmm. those shows. So we like taking him to the shows after dinner. Yeah, Com comedians are great. There was a lot of stuff to do for kids too. The kids that just want to go wade in their pools and stuff, they'll like it. Elijah and I, we kind of like taking the football or the baseball and throwing it in the pool, and we couldn't do that. They pretty much shut us down on that pretty quick. Yeah, so it's not a very big pool at all. It, it's not, but mm -hmm. but thank God they got water slides. Elijah went down them. He thought they were cool. He liked the blue one. He said the blue one was cooler because it had lights when he went through it. Yeah, and basically what the lights were is it's these rings that um, the sunlight will come through the rings, so then when you're going through, it actually looks like lights. So it's pretty cool. So Elijah liked that. But, you know, they weren't like weak slides or anything, um, you know, so they were pretty fast. Adults will like them too. Flowrider, that's really cool. I'd actually never even tried the Flowrider, so I was kind of excited as an adult to be able to try that, and Elijah was really excited too. He did the Flowrider as well. Oh, yeah. So it was something all of us could do, so uh -huh. I thought that was fun. Yeah, and it's not nothing you're gonna kill yourself on, so watch some YouTube videos on that. Watch the newsletter they give you the night before. It will show you all the times for the Flowrider, and there are specific times, so they'll only allow you to do the boogie boarding, or they'll only allow you to stand up, and they usually shut those times off about 30 minutes before. So it told us one time we could boogie board until 3. We went down there at about 2.30 and they were already cutting the line off. Saying if you're not already in line, you can't boogie board anymore. We're like, oh, well, okay, we'll have to make sure we're mm -hmm. here at least 30 minutes early for whatever we wanted to do. Right. They also had a really cool rock climbing wall on this it ship. Was cool. it, it was cool. Really it was really big. tall. It was nice. Yeah. It wasn't just some little thing. It was cool. Good no, size. Yeah, it was big. It, or they got a little bell at the top you can ring when you hit it. So then a lot yeah, of people get excited goal. about that. Woo! I wanted to get to the top and ring the bell. So, and he did great. He, he did. climbed he all the way to the top, rang it twice. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we had we had a lot of fun with that and played some Can't table wear wet tennis. Clothes on the rock climbing wall, though. If you have wet clothes, they will send you back to change. And you That's have true. To have socks. So. You have to have socks. Yeah. <laughs> we and had they, it twice. Yeah, they socks. will. They will give you shoes to wear. Mm -hmm. So, but they do want you know you got to wear socks. They also have a basketball court, which is really cool. So. We played, Elijah and I played a little horse on there, so that was fun. It does fill up fast. There's usually a lot of people on there yeah. playing basketball. We kind of lucked out because one of the days it was kind of rainy, and as soon as the rain broke, we went outside, and of course everyone had cleared the basketball court. So we got out there first right after the rain cleared, and it was a free basketball court. Yeah. So they were able to go out there and play before it started filling back up again. Yeah. So that worked out. Arcade. The arcade was great. Probably one of Elijah's favorite features. Yeah. Now, now we will, something we did find out that might be a little easier, if you're going to budget how much you want your kids to spend at the arcade definitely set it up before you come just log in there put mm -hmm. the amount of money in there get it all budgeted first and then say here you go um, because we found out we, we did that but we wanted to go back and play again and it wouldn't let us put money on the card and that so was then just we kind had of to charge a, like every single yeah. Whatever, every game every game yeah, so rather was, than having it preloaded onto the card and so we knew exactly how much to spend ahead of time so that was a royal yeah <laughs> yeah so then um you also get discounts and stuff on pictures which i highly recommend everyone take advantage of cruise ships for pictures pictures everywhere and that's actually one of the coolest things about cruise ships is family pictures i actually got the last cruise we went on i had to have a picture taken for my business just kind of a you know torso shot and I, you know, rather than going and pay for a professional one to be done with some photographer, we had it done right here on the cruise ship and yeah. it's part of the package. Yeah, so great. 
Yeah, and the more that you can set up or pay for before the cruise, the better the saving. Um, but yeah, and formal nights too. On formal nights, they set up more picture places for right. you to actually get your picture taken because they know you're going to be all dressed up. But that is also true too that you will have formal nights on cruise ships, which some people don't know about. We had a lady mm -hmm. that this was her first cruise and she had no idea there was formal nights, so she had not packed formal clothes. So just know that usually on like a four-day cruise, you're going to have at least one formal night. A seven-day cruise, you're going to have at least two formal nights. And so if you want to go to dinner that night in the main dining room, there is a dress code, usually like skirts, dresses, stuff like that for women and men are encouraged to have ties or at least, yeah. you know, collared nice shirt. They also do come around your dinner table with a photographer. So you'll have one that'll come around and they'll, they'll want to take your picture, your family's picture right there at the dinner table. So that's what's nice about getting that picture package too, because it's just unlimited pictures you can go through and pick your, which ones you want and, yeah and they'll take your picture every time you get off the boat at every port yeah. and that's a nice memory to have too oh that's when we went to that port yeah. that's when we went to that that port so i really like to have those pictures too so yeah I really definitely, like that. De definitely pretty cool food was good um there is a yeah. wind jammer cafe um, so the wind jammers got pretty much that buffet type style food they do try to change it up they'll have like an international flavor every day so most you can, of it pretty much stays the it, same it does, but their yeah. hours are really nice right so they're pretty much open almost all day during the day and close about nine o'clock so almost any time you want to go eat they're going to have something there to eat so that that is nice to have that backup because you don't have to dress up to go right. there you can have your swim clothes on as long as you're not wet and still go in there and eat and not feel like you have to be dressed and you'd have to wear shoes yeah Elijah Elijah figured that, that out, out. <laughs> so you gotta he's have like, shoes when you he came there. back to the room i got kicked out i didn't have shoes <laughs> he's like i just want to go barefooted <laughs> couldn't do that Honey rockets Oh yeah, Johnny Rockets, they do have they that. They were really good. There's a charge for Johnny Rockets, but it wasn't a horrible charge. Yeah. They do have some more of the upscale restaurants that you do have to pay to eat in, and we didn't utilize any of them. Cafe, Cafe Promenade. Yeah. On like the promenade deck, deck yep. five. And yeah. I really like that. I did, I like the Cafe Promenade, and it was, you know, that had some good food in there. And I will, I will tell you about the Cafe Promenade, which is really nice, is you know, let's say you miss Windjammer, let's say you missed your dinner time and it's just late at night and that happens to people, they want that snack, they want that uh, pizza. You can actually pop in a cafe promenade anytime and get like a little dessert or something like that. I think they're open until like 3 a.m. So um, that would definitely be something that I think is pretty cool about the cruise ship because you do have that. And we well. liked it in the mornings, like when we were at a port and we were going to get off, but we had to like kind of rush to get off so we could utilize most of our day and we didn't want to go spend a bunch of time eating breakfast. We would just pop in there and they had little cinnamon rolls or donuts mm -hmm. or something quick that you could grab so you could eat really fast. We liked utilizing that. You can have the food delivered to your room, room service. They do charge you for that, but it's like a flat fee. No matter how much food you get, I think it's like $7.95 or something. And as a family, we love watching movies and eating and a lot of times eating pizza when we watch a movie so there was one night where Elijah's like you know I just want to watch a movie and we even though they showed that they did not have pizza for room service Eric just called and they even had pizza boxes and everything and they made us whole pizzas put them in the pizza box brought them to our room do have movies to rent or I guess to purchase mm -hmm. too so they had a lot of movies to yeah. purchase so overall I feel like it's been a good boat yeah, yeah, no, it's been good and, and we liked it. And um, so like tip number three uh, is gonna be the Coke machines. So if you like to drink pop or soda, you get there's a couple different versions of soda packages you could get. Well, we, yeah, we got pop, pop cups, huh? Yeah. We each had a soda package um, that we paid for. They charge you a certain amount per day. Mm -hmm. um, per so per person, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what we found out is we actually just started jumping over to one of the bars and saying, hey, can you fill this up? Yeah, as long as you so, got your card or your cup, they know you got um, the soda package and they'll just fill your pop for you. Tip number two, oh, uh, they, they, they actually have some movies playing at the pool area. Yeah. So like our first night here on the cruise, they had a, a movie playing and what was really neat about that is they closed down the pool, but they keep the hot tubs open. So mm -hmm. we, were, we were able to hop into a hot tub, watch a movie on a huge it screen. It movie. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So we just sat there in the, the, the hot tub and watched a movie. So. Just check that out when you're on the ship. See what movie is going to be playing because it's kind of relaxing to go out there and, and it's nice on outside. Big screen. So yeah, cool. so it was really cool. So that would be uh, tip number two. And our number one tip is 
We noticed when it said you get off at port that they recommend that you bring a picture ID with you. But what we realized when we went to get back on the boat was no, it's not a recommendation, it is a requirement. So make sure not only do you have your, your sail card from the boat, you are also required for every adult to have a picture ID to get back on the boat once you've stopped at a port. And the, yeah. it does not, their paperwork does not say that. It says recommended. So just so that you know, when you go on port, make sure you bring a picture ID to get back on the boat. Definitely. So overall, impressed, cool. Mm -hmm. They like Royal it. Caribbean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a good time. So I, I recommend it. Absolutely. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more great content that is ready to come.